Well, 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 how poignant. I was just watching Pete's video about grumpy forklift driver, and that can be grumpy anyone. <laughs> and I had a story that's worth telling today. So I went to a distribution centre and I collected some items. And these items had to be delivered to four different places. Can you guess who I'm working for yet? And I was given for this particular address three items. And I'd never been there before, so I rocked up and I got to the barrier and I pressed the buzzer and said, I've got these items. And the barrier opened and then I went and I got to the counter where I was to deliver the items. And uh, as I walked in, the person behind the counter was on the telephone. And it was the conversation he was having. I can't think what the other side of the conversation was. That's not good enough. So I'm going to get two deliveries this morning. Right, okay then. And the phone gets put down rather abruptly. And I said, good morning. Or in fact, it was afternoon, sorry. Good afternoon. Ignored me. Sitting on his computer, doing computer things. I thought, okay, I'll wait a minute or two. And I said, hi there, I've got items for you. Uh Uh-huh. Anyway, he turned around and came across. And I had my line sitting on the desk and I had the three items and I said just a print and sign there please thanks is this all I'm getting is this it where's the other 20 items I said oh sorry I don't know this is what they've given me to deliver this isn't good enough I'm going to refuse this load I'm going to get my supervisor and off he went so I really don't want to have to take these items back that doesn't help me at all so the supervisor comes out and he says Who do you work for? I'm working for this company. Yeah, but are you staff there? No, I'm a contractor. I'm self-employed. Oh, you're self-employed, are you? Have you scanned them? He says, I don't have the scanner. I'm a temporary driver. They've called and asked if I could cover this load today. This happens far too often. I said, okay. He said, well, would you like to refuse the load? And I will take them back. And the two guys both looked at each other. And the supervisor walked off without saying a word. And the other guy looked at me, signed the line, and took the goods. And off I went on my merry way, laughing and joking, with my patience filter quite full.